Evelyn's What's listening bae? to Hilarious because they're huge. Like, she is not playing around. But OG's receipts are kind of disturbing. Now, that's where I have a problem with Kristen. I think that's, yeah, that's Kristen. That's where I have a problem because you're going to sit here and say that OG's receipts are quite disturbing but what you didn't say was how messed up Evelyn's receipts were as well for her to come and bring some receipts and she trying to expose her and make it look like she thirsty and stuff like that but then when the girl defend herself you want to have an issue with her receipts and I believe this is why OG said y'all were not treating me fairly Sex is up in this game. Eat you up in this game. wait is over the wait is over come back commentary so get out your feel what's going on everybody hope you guys are having a really good day today it's your girl Nisha here back in the cup once again if you are new here and today we are getting ready to react to og and evelyn's beef escalates after receipts are pulled out i think that's my dyslexia kicking in child because i just read that one backwards of course this one is courtesy of vh1 so i will put the link down below so you guys can go check it out and please, if you guys like the video, please do not forget to like it down below as well as subscribe if you feel compelled to, okay? Anyway, y'all, so we're going to go ahead and get into this one. I do remember this season. I can't remember which one it was, but I want to say I was actually doing the reaction videos back then, okay? Our recap review videos. So I do know what happened around this. Um, so it'll be nice, good refresher, because y'all know Basketball Wise, come back on, child. I done told you, okay? Okay, OG said we can talk. Cece says she has nothing to say. You wanted to bring up Chad yesterday. You called me ugly. And I said, well, Chad thinks I'm beautiful, because he does. Does he? He does. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, let's pull she out exhibit believe A, B, C, <laughs> and D. Are you going to talk? Or she, you? No, no, I'm going to pull oh, out okay. the DMs. Yours? No. Yes, boo-boo. No. Exhibit A. Now, first of all, I do want to say it is very messed up that Chad would give her these DMs. But, I mean, if he really wasn't that into her, maybe he gave her DMs to say, look, I'm not really into shorty. This is what we talked about, probably. But, I mean, if he really was trying to talk to her, I highly doubt he's going to give her that information. Or he's probably going to delete some stuff. So, anyway, let's get back to it. September 5th, 2013. Chatty, let's do lunch. Look at the girl got the stick messages. in her hand. Okay. Exhibit Bring A. <laughs> I'm getting my text messages because we pulling up Twitter and those are deleted and I'll print the real one. I the figured. one where he DM'd me first uh -huh. and followed me first. I'm not quite sure how she was able to conjure up. Let me say this. Now, I do think OG is cute, okay? She a little chocolate little thing like myself. I do think she cute. And I think that people like to come for her looks because they think that she's not secure. And she's very secure. Like the girl is confident as hell in the way she looks. And so it's really unfortunate that that's all Evelyn had. <laughs> you know, it's like, girl, he probably did try to talk to OG. Let's get back to it. Uh, old direct messages between Chad and I. However, the main component that's missing is everything that Chad said to me. You try, you're like you're having a conversation with yourself here. No. June 15, 2014. Actually, we met in 2011. Oh. What had happened in 2011, Evelyn? What the f Chad and I, we were engaged. We got married in 2012, so are you just DMing a man that you know is about to be Maybe married? she didn't know that he was married or that he was, I'm sorry, engaged to be married. Maybe she didn't know that. I don't know. Let's see. Married? You're a goofy ass bitch. Chad, OG. Girl think says so. the person that had the same God. issue when so it came Chad to Terry. was actually messing with OG while he was with Evelyn. He yeah. That's your guy. He's a good right. guy. That's I why he sent these. I never why he sent these and said you're just those were deleted, wow. boo boo. I find it extremely naive and ignorant. Girl, of Evelyn, he probably trying to get some of your cooter that day, girl. <laughs> That's why he said she was delusional. Evelyn, to literally think that Chad and I only communicated on Twitter. Like, girl, get it together. Connect the dots. Mm. The numbers were exchanged and separate conversations happened afterwards. You're having a conversation no. with yourself. That's Happy a lie. Father's Day. Here we oh, go, Chatty Bear. Here we go. Nice to see you today. Oh, baby, she got text messages, okay, you though. Are fine. How old 
are you? Thank you. I'm 26. Wait. Boyfriend? No. What? Am Baby, the look on Evelyn's face though, it's like, okay, see, this wasn't supposed to go this way. Like, I was supposed to put you in your place. You wasn't supposed to come back and have some receipts on me. You know what I mean? Or not necessarily on her, on Chad. Because like I said, Chad is probably only going to give her the things that make him look good. He not going to give you the stuff that made him look like he was actually trying to mess with OG. Of course not. Like, for you to go and get that shit, you dumb as hell. About yourself. Well, I do deal with someone, but okay. we can be BFFs. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. So You're precious. I want more pictures. You look good. I think it's mighty funny that these ladies think that I would actually cheat on Amen. my man Kwame with Chad. <laughs> the messages that I have are from Chad trying to get me. And the messages that I have presented are me saying we could be great friends. Strictly platonic. That's fake. That's fake. That's fake. <laughs> Evelyn's What's receipts fake? are hilarious because they're huge. Like, she is not playing around. But OG's receipts are kind of disturbing. Now, that's where I have a problem with Kristen. I think that's, yeah, that's K Kristen. That's where I have a problem because you're going to sit here and say that OG's receipts are quite disturbing. But what you didn't say was how messed up Evelyn's receipts were as well. For her to come and bring some receipts and she trying to expose her and make it look like she thirsty and stuff like that. But then when the girl defend herself, you want to have an issue with her receipts. And I believe this is why OG said y'all were not treating me fairly. And that is the that is the case. But you guys know that Kristen was all up Evelyn's ass. Okay? So that's why she was going to be loyal to Evelyn regardless. But at the end of the day, it's still messed up for you to describe it that way. They are both doing the exact same thing. Evelyn thought she had some receipts where she was going to be able to put OG in her place, but she didn't realize that OG also had her own receipts, baby. See, OG is similar to me. I don't delete nothing. <laughs> I'm keeping receipts, honey, because you never know when you need to go back to those text messages. So that's what, mm, child. Why, number one, were you talking to someone's husband when Evelyn was married to Chad? And why are you still talking to Chad when you got a whole man? Hey, my business. Oh, you missed the part mm, where you said I don't want your man to beat me up. You, you see me pulling up and they won't be to me. I had him, I married him, we him. were together. That's the difference between me and you. Did that. Chad wants to be wedding. with a Are black you woman. You're not you black. Serious? You can Ooh. gel your hair down as much as you want. Ooh. You can say this and that. Come on, OG. How the are we now having race wars? Girl, come on now. I don't ever, not. I mean, maybe it's just me, but I don't see Evelyn trying to act like she black. I think Evelyn acts how Evelyn acts. I don't think Evelyn trying to be black. So I don't know what hell that came from, but um, I don't know, child. We're not going to do the race thing. No comment. Um, I'm not really sure where she is coming from with the whole Evelyn wants to be black thing. Yeah. Like, what? You're yeah, that black. part lost me. Evelyn has come to Costa Rica with cornrows in her hair. I have sat at dinner tables hearing her so you're use trying to say like the cultural appropriation. And, right, and it's disgusting. I, I mean, look, I'm all here. If you want to wear your braids, child, wear your braids, wear your fro. I don't care what you wear at the end of the day. That's just me. I don't, I'm not super sensitive about a whole lot of shit. So at the end of the day, that probably ain't going to bother me. But I wouldn't take that and say that that's her acting black. Because by that logic, I done seen, uh, who else? I done seen Christina... Uh, Aguilera with uh, braids, I believe. I done seen, um, what's the other, Jennifer Lopez with braids. Like, I don't think you should use that as your example of her trying to be black. I don't think that's the case. But anyway, y'all. Again, I'm not super sensitive, so maybe there should be something to it. I just don't catch it. They identify with being Afro-Latina. And guess what, bitch? I'm proud. So you can <laughs> my you want to be and black. you were born in L.A. As many black all that you had in your you will never bye. be black. Girl, bye. OG calling a race call. And it's a distraction. Bitch, stay on the topic. The real deal is you're messy. You can buy. You're messy. Well, I, I forget a homegirl name. What was homegirl name, y'all? I forget her name. But it's like everybody trying to go super hard on OG because you want to paint her as this angry, black, aggressive woman. But at the end of the day, how is what she doing any different from what Evelyn did is what I'm trying to understand because they literally did the same thing. What makes her more messy than the other one? 
Now, what she did do, she yeah, she threw a little shade. Like, you're going to sit up there and talk about how I'm talking to him and I'm trying to be thirsty or whatnot. If you're going to get the dates and talk about this 2014, boo, get that shit correct. It was 2011 when he reached out to me. I think she was just letting y'all know what it was. But to say that she's just trying to be messy, well, what do you call Evelyn bringing the shit to the forefront? Anyway, y'all. Titties again. You can buy a butt again. This shit is genetic. She say it's genetic, bitch. No how wild OG gets and wants to shake her little dirty little ass. I feel like my receipts. What um, makes her ass dirty? Though? You better walk away. You better walk away. Watching Evelyn walk away is the greatest satisfaction and vindication. Well, she walked away because she really didn't have much else to say. I mean, you basically just let her know that her fiance at the time was really trying to get down with the Brizown. You know what I mean? So that's probably why she walked away. And then plus she had everybody defending her. So, I mean, she won according to her eyes. You know what I mean? It's like, I just outed you as messy, as a homewrecker, as whatever, whatever, whatever. So she feels vindicated. But I get where OG is coming from. It's like, you don't really have anything to say because I made you look stupid. After you brought your receipts, I made you look stupid. I could have asked for. It is clear that she is day old bread and it's time to take out the trash. You know, day old bread is still good, girl. Jesus does love me, which is I know. why I will always persevere. Just let it sink in. Jesus does love me, which is this why. Jesus, see, this is my problem with Shawnee being best friends when it comes to, like, with Evelyn. Because it's like, girl, see what the issue is. You should have put Evelyn in her place. Yeah, it probably hurt sis' feelings a little bit. But at the end of the day, sis started that shit. Okay? Now, I really need to go back to that season and probably, like, look and see where it really started. As far as, like, their beefs with each other. But in this scene, she, Evelyn, brought the receipts. And then OG just let her know, boo, you got the facts, but you don't got everything. So let me go ahead and let you know what you're missing. You know? Anyway. I know. Oh, the Bible told me so. Bye. Girl. All right, y'all. So that's it. Get into the comments. Let me know what you thought about the video. And if you have any suggestions, please be sure to put those down below as well. And if you made it this far, you may as well go ahead and like the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and all that good stuff. All right, y'all. Until next time. Bye. I'm ready to go. This tea is super hot. I'm about to no rush. Pressure. I'm back, back, three feet, no pressure.